Now, India's Defence Minister Rajan Singh has departed for Moscow, where he will be attending Russia's 75th Victory Day Parade. A representative of China's defence establishment is also expected to be in attendance. Now, Russia is emerging as a key player in the standoff between India and China. But the question is, what sort of role is Moscow willing to play? In Moscow, Rajnath Singh will hold talks with Russia on expanding India-Russia strategic ties. He is also expected to push for the expedited delivery of the S-400 missile system. Needless to say, the India-China standoff will loom large over all engagements in Russia, and that includes the parade as well. Contingents from both India and China are scheduled to take part in the parade on Wednesday. Russia's role in the ongoing standoff is complicated. Moscow has excellent ties with New Delhi and Beijing, and some would say that makes Russia well-equipped to diffuse tensions. But there's a lot at stake here for Russia. India is a huge market for Russian defense equipment, and Russia is also running joint military ventures with both India and China. Regional stability will also be playing on Russia's mind. A long and drawn-out standoff between India and China would adversely impact the stability in Asia. And Russia has repeatedly emphasized on the importance of the India-China-Russia axis in ensuring progress in the region. In recent years, Russia and China have grown closer to each other. After the West ostracized Russia for annexing Crimea in 2014, Moscow decided to strengthen ties with China. China has been more than willing to reciprocate this gesture, especially due to the rapidly deteriorating relations between China and the U.S. Now, China continued to trade with Russia despite the sanctions imposed post-Crimea. China is becoming an outlet for Russia's sanctions hit energy reserves. And uh, recently, Vladimir Putin came to China's rescue when the world was blaming it for triggering the COVID-19 pandemic. Similarly, Russia backed China's entry into the G7, where there uh, were reports of a possible expansion of the grouping. America's hostile policy towards Russia has basically delivered Beijing to Moscow. At the same time, Russia can't afford to openly back either country in the standoff. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov welcomed the announcement of talks between India and China. Sources have told Weon that Russia has promised to support India in resolving the ongoing standoff. Just two days after the face-off, Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister held talks with the Indian ambassador to Russia. The talks centered around regional security and the escalating situation at the line of actual control. So Russia is very much in the picture, but in a very covert role. Which brings us to the next big story coming out of Russia this week.